I don't, actually, I have no idea how long it is, but I was just talking into the void because um, actually my mic was not on for some reason. I got this um, game that has that just today, so I'm still testing it out. I hope the sound is better. I really like um, the... You know, when I listen to music or watch video, actually the sound coming in for me to listen is very good. But I hope the mic is good as well, so you will have a better quality audio. So, um, yeah, so this is my second attempt today. I feel a little bit tired, but uh, bear with me. I'm still learning. Um, my green screen is falling off as well because um, I just stuck this uh, green screen that I buy on Amazon, only like £30. This is a cheap one. I just, But the quality is nice for £30, but it's, uh, it doesn't stand on its own. So I just stuck it behind my back and between the chair and my back. So it's kind of like, you know, um, flipping uh, around. So it's not doing what it's supposed to. So you can see all these like black shadow. Uh, but compared to what I tried uh, a few days ago, now I have a light actually above my head. So um, I have a better, um, brighter face. So now I'm not like kind of covering some black shadow. Um, also, what have been changed? I have moved my setup. Uh, I was doing it in my living room last time, and it's not good because if my flatmate came back, came back uh, then I'll be disturbed. So I moved the whole setup into my bedroom now. So I have a little dungeon <laughs> for making stream now. I'm, I'm happy. I'm having an upgraded home office as well. So I have also ordered a second monitor, but uh, it won't come in till tomorrow. So for tomorrow, it will be good because I can put this uh, streaming and also the chat uh, on one uh, screen and I can put what I'm doing in my laptop screen. So the accident won't happen. So I can actually monitor whether the mic is picking up my voice or not. I don't have to do it a second time. <laughs> this is stupid. Sorry. If somebody's watching that, that would be so embarrassing because I wasn't even looking at the chat. So if people tell me that, hey, hey, I can't hear you. I I still have no idea because I don't have enough space on my screen to see everything. So this problem hopefully will be solved tomorrow when I have a monitor, an uh, extra monitor come in. I only have my desktop at the moment. I rarely work um, in my bedroom. So um, that would be my upgrade for my home office. I'm super happy, uh, even though I can't go out right now I'm just like stay at home like what everybody is doing at the moment but I'm excited about my little you know setup for streaming <laughs> so yeah I hope I can make a lot of um, tutorial videos uh, this way so I can keep connecting with the community uh, which is the place I love so much so uh, enough for that uh, I, what I gotta show you today actually uh, is of course I want to check out the tech to have more failure before things got real but uh, I think what I can show you is the block that I made for Terminus DB. Uh, today I showed it to my colleague and they seems like quite like it and I'm so proud of it even though the technology is actually quite simple uh, I think everybody can do it. I will show you the secret at the end so you have to bear with me to the end of this video. So. Okay, uh, let's show you the block first. Okay, so this is a block. Uh, can you still see the screen? Okay, because uh, yeah, again, I said it was a bit weird for now, but it's fine. Um, okay, so uh, this is a block. This is very simple. Uh, it looks neat. Uh, there's nothing much here. You can follow us on social media. This is the text that you can find um, blocks with this topic here. So graph, like most of the things about graph, right? So because we are a graph database, we are awesome. So yeah, you can also go to our other site here. Uh, for example, you know, you can go to our main website by clicking our logo. You can go to our community site, uh, event site to see when we have a webinar. Actually, we will have a, have a webinar very soon at the end of this month. So yeah, sorry about advertisement, but it's good. Uh, please join it. So this one, um, Terminus DB webinar. Um, yeah, so uh, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah, so everything's online now. It's good. Uh, let's go back to the blog. So um, the blog. 
uh, okay, these are all the graphs. So uh, what's good about the blog is because actually we have been um, writing blogs on Medium for quite a while now, uh, all of us, not just me, but also my colleagues. So some of these actually is written by my colleague. Um, but we decided to um, host our own blog because even though there's a lot of interesting article on Medium, there's a lot of people like, you know, reading articles on Medium, including me, but you have to be a pay member to enjoy a limited number of blogs. So sometimes if you found something interesting, you want to follow one and another and another, then you hit the limit very quickly. Um, this is good for some people, like, uh, and I think it's fair because, you know, they pay the, the writer as well. So um, for me, it's OK. I, I don't mind joining the membership and read good articles written by people who put hard work in it. But um, because we are doing it for the community, uh, we want to teach people more more stuff. So um, having something that for people free to read will be a better model for us. So um, we decided to host our own blog. And also another good thing I learned from IndieWeb is to host your own content. So you don't have to worry about a third party host holding your content and they can do whatever with it. Um, so it's good to own your own content. OK, so um, yeah, so this is our blog. And then uh, but because we also want to keep our fan base in Medium and also we are exploring Dev2 as well. So we want to um, syndicate all our posts um, into Medium and Dev2. So uh, I can actually show you how. Uh, this is what I got to teach you today. So for example, I want to um, put this amazing article about uh, history, you know, the Shasha data set and um, Terminus DB in Medium. So all I need is to copy this link and go to Medium. Right, so I've already logged in because I use Medium quite a lot. So you can see that you can go to your story and import a story. Oh, actually, I've import a lot of this story. I have to delete it somehow. Like it's, it's going insane. OK, you can import it. And then, um, yeah, you can check it before you publish it. So yeah, this is how you do it. And then uh, it's actually the formatting is quite nice. You don't have to do a lot of touch up. Maybe like this spacing, you want to fix it or something like that. But actually, it looks very neat. Uh, all the links are there. It's in tech. Let me check the links. Yeah, it's there. Uh, is it? Or is it not? Let me check. Yeah, it's there. So, um, yeah, it's quite good. Um, so, it's also showed your canonical URL, which is, which is, um, Hello. OK, I think my mic just gone off so for some reason. I don't know why. I have to maybe check the setting of the mic. But yeah, luckily that this time I, I'm more aware. <laughs> so um, yeah, so uh, you have the canonical URL, which is uh, very nice that um, you it would kind of people if they want to read more about your thing so they know where you actually originated uh, this post. So it's more reliable source for people to um, to find your post. So this is Medium. This is very simple. Uh, you don't have to do a lot for it. But for DevTool, uh, but yeah, the downside for Medium, you have to do it one by one, right? So um, so if you just finish a post, is you can do it simply, like you know what I did before, to post on Medium. But if you have a lot of posts, like um, what I had, it would be a pain. Luckily, all the post is like I pull it from Medium, right? So we don't have to post it again. But for DevTool, because we are just starting to actively use it, so um, we don't have a lot of post on DevTool yet. But I want the DevTool community will be able to see it as well. So um, what you can do is you can go to your settings and publish from RSS. So DevTool is very nice. It lets you to fit uh, your RSS feed into their site, and then they will pull your all your posts from there. And uh, also, they would, you know, use your uh, URL as the canonical URL. So we need the feed. So actually, for our Terminus DB blog, we do have a feed. So let's go back to the blog. 
and our feed is actually in feed. So this is everything. This is all the blog posts that we have in the blog. Um, so this is the one written by my colleague and this is the one written by me. Uh, but I don't want it this way, right? So because this is my, it is my DevTool account and I don't want to put my colleague's article as mine on my Medium account. This is not nice. So um, a little trick that I did is to make a different feed for a different author. So, um, yeah, so you can see that I can just type my name. Uh, this is what I set up before uh, in the blog post. Uh, when I show you, show you the source code, you will be able to see it. So check the XML, so click enter. You will see that this is my post. This is my post. And this is my post. So all of them are my post. Uh, so I am safe to just put this in Medium, actually. So let me do this. So actually, I can also, um, yeah, I'll show you a little thing more before I do this. But yeah, but anyway, uh, if you paste your link here, which I already did because I did it in the last run. <laughs> so if it's something new, then you click update and then click fetch feed now. So this will uh, pull in all your posts that hasn't been on DevTool yet. It will pull it from your website. So for our website, we actually have uh, multiple author functionality here. So let's go back here. You can see that, for example, this is my colleague's post. So you will see that at the end, we would have, oh, well, there's quite a lot of information here. So this is posed by my colleague, which is actually the CEO of the company. Um, so yeah, uh, but if you check my post, So scroll to the end, you'll see my name here. So yeah, um, so that's, we keep track of who write what. So that's why we can do it like this. Um, so yeah, so we have already pulled the, uh, the RSS uh, to DevTool. So now if we check our dashboard, you'll see that all the new posts will be in yellow. They are draft. Uh, this one, I just published it in my last run. Um, so yeah, these are the ones that I published earlier. So I still got one to show you, which is good. I hope this try will work. Otherwise, I would just give up. So, okay. Uh, what you can do, uh, because it's draft, uh, you can actually edit it, double check before you publish it. So um, this is all in Markdown. Usually it's quite nice. Uh, in my last run, I have a little bit problem with the embedded um, things because last post that I try, there's quite a lot of embedded things like um, Twitter feed and um, YouTube uh, videos. So for the Twitter feed, it will change into code for you automatically. For the um, for the video, actually, it won't work. So uh, you may want to do a little touch up before you publish it. So which I will go back to touch up my last post. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but Otherwise, for all this picture, it works fine. It's just marked down. It recognizes it. For link, it's fine. It's just like, it will just recognize like a charm. So yeah, usually things will work unless you want to do really multimedia stuff. Um, also, one extra thing that you can make your article more attractive is to put a cover image. Uh, this is an image that was showed um, when people were browsing different articles, which one to click. So instead of just seeing a title, if you put a cover image, there will be also an image for people to see. So what I want to do is to steal this image. Um, but uh, I think uh, for the uh, for this um, theme that I'm using, it kind of like block people to just copy copy the image. So hmm, what I can do is like I can either inspect it. So this is like sneaky, sneaky, stealing pictures. Um, so I'll be able to see the link of this URL. Ah, because it's a background. That's why I can't steal it. Oh, smart. Okay, so this is the URL um, of this image. So um, it was originally on Medium, <laughs> actually. So uh, yeah, so actually I can steal it from Medium. Um, if I go to my Medium post. <laughs> um, yeah, 
be, being a very nasty internet thieves. So if I go to my publish, because I have already published it on Medium, right? Um, so what you are supposed to do is to not just pull in the image from Medium. You should uh, host your own image on your own blog and then just put it there. So, um, so yeah, you have all the rights to use it. But uh, right now I'm just being nasty. I just copy this image source and paste it here. So ha <laughs> ha I have a picture now, which I stole somewhere. Hehe. <laughs> so um, yeah, so this is what you want to do. You want to double check the date. That is the date you want, the, the text, and just check everything. Check the URL, it's the URL of your blog. Um, also, you want to publish to your organization. Uh, if you have one, if you're like me, this is the blog that I write for Terminus DB community. So I want to put it there for the Terminus community, Terminus DB community to see. So the last thing you have to do to publish it is to change the publish from false to true. That's it. Save change. And your post will be published. So now if you, so you have this nice cup the cover image, right? This is the picture that I stole from my own Medium post. Um, yeah, so everything's very nice for this post. Yeah, the last one was a bit more tricky because, um, yeah, because of all these multimedia thing. Uh, but I think maybe Dev2 will, um, yeah, maybe, because Dev2 is actually open source. I've opened a ticket on GitHub to it about this, because I want to pull in the cover image automatically, so I open the ticket there. So maybe, yeah, if you, maybe I can go and um, open in the ticket about the, the multimedia failure <laughs> earlier that I had. And then maybe I can, if they give me a green light, I can help them to solve the problem if I want to. So, yeah, so now I have my new post published to Terminus DB community. Yay. Um, yeah, so this is actually very easy if you have a lot, a lot of posts. So now I only have one because I already done a lot today. But I was like pulling today, I think I pulled in like six or seven posts in a go just by feeding this RSS feed. Uh, I think in the future, maybe we can think about setting a hook, uh, use the Medium API to publish it as well. Uh, not Medium, like, uh, but Dev2 API. Maybe Medium, you can do the same as well, but that would be for an other tutorial when I figured it out. Um, so I think it's been quite long and it's my second run. So I'm quite tired right now and my screen is falling. All this black dot is coming back to eat me alive. So um, I gotta stop here. And um, oh, actually, the last thing I gotta show you is where to find the source code. Because uh, yeah, everything is open source um, in Terminus DB. So uh, actually, I want to go to our repo, which is uh, here. So GitHub.com, Terminus DB, Terminus DB, uh, DB blog. So this is our source code. Uh, actually. Uh, the master is already built by Travis, so I set up a pipeline for the Travis to automatically build when there's some new thing pushed to the repo. Yeah, the mic keeps dying on me for some reason. That's very, very strange. Uh, yeah, maybe it's been too long or something. I have to double check. So, yeah, um, for the... But the source code uh, is actually pushed to source. So when something is pushed to short, push to source in the repo, um, the Travis will build. Uh, we'll use Jaco to build because this is built in Jaco. If you are familiar with Jaco, you may recognize it. This is you know all these underscore thing you know um, and config. Um, yeah, so it will build from Travis. So it's a static site. It's super easy. I would suggest you, if you are not a web developer like me, uh, if you only have one person, you want to set up a website very, very quickly. The best way to do it is uh, GitHub Pages. It's free, uh, free hosting. Uh, you don't have to, you know, set up a Heroku or you have set up a work, WordPress. You still have to pay for a subscription, I think. Um, there's freemium, but maybe it's more limited. Um, function that you can use so uh yeah for github pages it's just like if you have been a developer like i've been contributing to open source for quite a while now for like i think at least two years um so i'm very 
um, confidence in pushing things to GitHub. So this is super easy for me. Uh, may not be very easy for people who haven't used GitHub before, but it's so easy to learn. Actually, I have a slide deck to teach you how to make a pull request, uh, but that's for another time. Maybe I can show you um, next time in another video. Um, so yeah, you just need to uh, push it to GitHub and then it will automatically build for you. You don't need, even need to set up a Travis pipeline like I do because uh, what's good about GitHub pages, it has built in a Jacko um, build functionality, but it's only very, very basic. So some of the uh, plugins that I'm using here, for example, um, this one, page in A2, it's version two, so it's more sophisticated, but GitHub pages doesn't support it. It only provide a bare basic. So um, so that's why I set it up. But if you're just like trying to, to do it, you don't have to do as complicated as I'm doing right now. So you just need to find a nice um, template. Actually, I'm using some of this template. I need to give this author a shout out. So this is a, a Baba theme. So you can try this as well, but this one doesn't, um, it doesn't compa it's not compatible with uh, the uh, native uh, GitHub pages build, so it may be more advanced for people. So yeah, this is a very nice theme. I like it. Uh, it got a lot of cool functionalities. Uh, the, the look is nice. Um, yeah, so please support them. Um, yeah, they, they are very kind and nice to make it free for everybody to use. So yeah, you just go to find a Jacko theme and um, kind of maybe you don't even need to edit anything. Just find a theme that you like and then put your own content in it. Usually there will be a, like a readme like this to teach you how to do it. Um, set it up and then you will have your first website. And uh, I think it's very good practice because now I'm very into indie web. Uh, so if you're interested, you can actually join the indie web community. So just go to indieweb.org. You may be able to find a meetup like local to you, or you can join our online events because now all the events go online. So you can just join us. Just find some events that is fit to your time, is in your time zone. Just go for it. Even not in your own time zone. If the time is suitable for you, just go for it. And uh, you will learn a lot more. I learn a lot from those people. And then you learn how to own your own content and syndicate to other social media. It's very nice. Um, and it makes you feel smart as well. Um, because you can build something. You make something happen. Uh, it's a good thing to learn coding as well because things are quite easy. Um, so yeah, I would uh, suggest you try it out. So um, sorry about the quality of this video. This is supposed to be a trial, but I just can't stop myself. I just want to make a, a, a you know, I don't know how do I call this now, um, but a tutorial. <laughs> but yeah, so enjoy the time, stay at home, play with your pets, um, stay, uh, you know, spend more time with, with your family. Don't go out to pubs and bars because now the disease is spreading. We have to protect everybody in the society. So use this time to do something online, um, do something interesting, um, you know, or just some, spend some quality time yourself. Um, so yeah, hope you stay safe and we will survive this. So I will see you very soon for another tutorial. <laughs>